Hello students, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, we are going to see think discuss in pair of linear equations in two variables. See, two situations are given below. Here, identify the unknown unknowns in each situation. Here, prati daanlo unknown edo manam identify chayali. We observe that there are two unknowns in each case. Two unknowns undai. So simply we have to write the equations here. Okay. See the cost of 1 kg potatoes and 2 kg tomatoes was rupees 30 on a certain day. So after two days cost of 2 kg potatoes and 4 kg tomatoes was found to be 66. Here we don't know cost of potatoes. Let it be x and cost of tomatoes also we don't know so let it be y see if the cost of one pen is three rupees what is the cost of two pens two into three only now so here cost of one kg potato x then two kgs potato two into x two x so first equation we can write one kg means x and 2 kgs 2 into y is equal to 30 and cost of 2 kg potatoes 2x 4 kg tomatoes 4y is equal to 66. So these are the equations and coming to the second one the coach of cricket team MK Nagar MK Nagar High School buys 3 bats and 6 balls for 3,900 rupees. Later he buys 1 more bat and 2 balls for 1,300. So here cost of bat x and cost of ball y. So what is first equation students? 3x plus 6y is equal to 3,900 and then x plus 2 balls is equal to 1300. So like this we can write the equations. So here uh, let cost of 1 kg potatoes x, cost of 1 kg tomatoes y. So this is given. So 1 kg potatoes and 2 kg tomatoes is equal to 30. So x plus 2 y is equal to 30 is the first equation. Now Cost of 2 kg potatoes 2 into x plus 4 into y is equal to rupees 66. That is 2x plus 4y is equal to 66. Third equation. So we by observing there are two unknown terms. Two unknown terms. Okay, that's it. For the second one, let cost of one bat x rupees, cost of one ball y rupees, then cost of three bats and six balls is equal to 3900. Three bats, three into x, six into y is equal to 3900. That is 3x plus 6y is equal to 3900. Similarly, one bat. 1 into x plus 2 into y is equal to 1300. x plus 2y is equal to 1300. So here also two unknown terms. So we can write by observing there are two unknown terms. Okay. So by observing two unknown terms are there. So like this we can form a linear equation by using the given information. Now try this problem. Mark the correct option in the following questions. So which of the following equations is not a linear equation? So what is linear equation? 
if degree is 1 then the equation is called linear equation and the power lo 1 and the power lo vary number same in the power see here x ki y ki power lo no x y power lo ete m leo x y power lo 2 undi kada so this is not a linear equation so what is linear equation the degree of the equation must be 1 so here degree 2 undi so it is not a linear equation second one which of the following is a linear equation in one variable so one variable means letters low edo okati matrame undal see here x y is there so two variables are there here t t only one variable x x x x square is there so here first of all it is not a linear equation because power low 2 only and this is also not a linear equation so here b is the correct why power low okati undi that means highest degree okati ayindi 1 ayindi and one variable so linear equation in one variable third one which of the following number is a solution for the equation see if we substitute 5 5 plus 3 8 2 8 is a 16 LHS is not equals to RHS. If we substitute 6, 6 plus 3, 9. 2 9 is a 18. 18 is equal to 18. So LHS is equal to RHS. So this is the solution. Otherwise, you can solve like this also by transposing 18 by 2, 2 9s. So x plus 3 is equal to 9. X is equal to 9 minus 3, 6. Like this also you can solve. Next fourth one. The value of x which satisfies the equation is here. The given equation 2x minus of 4 minus x is equal to 5 minus x. Now transpose all the x terms to one side and numbers to one side. 2x minus 4 minus into minus plus x is equal to 5 minus x. First bracket remove JSM. Now 2x plus x, 3x minus x if it comes to LHS, it is plus x, 5 minus 4 will become plus 4. So it is 4x is equal to 9. x is equal to 9 by 4. Uh, that means we have to divide 9 with 4. 4 twos are 8. 1 will be there. So point 0. Again 4 twos are 8. 2 comes. So point is there now. So we can add another 0. 4 fives are 20. So remainder 0. So what is the value? 2.25. Here the equation x minus 4y is equal to 5 has no solution unique solution two solutions infinitely many solutions so ikkada manam find gurtubet calls undi a daina linear equation in two variables ki infinitely many solutions untai okay see x minus 4y is equal to 5 avval so x 9 y 1 teeskunna appudu 9 minus 4 5 avutundi so 13 minus 8 also 5 right so, we will check the solutions. Okay? So, here answer infinitely many solutions. So, students, just here, we will solve this. Easy. See now, try this in page number 79. In the example given above, can you find the cost of each bat and ball? See here, these are the equations. Right? And this is the graph the two lines are coincident right that means they have many solutions so particular manam cost of each bat and ball ni find out ante no we cannot find okay now think discuss is a dependent pair of linear equations always consistent why or why not 
Dependent means what? Coincident lines are called dependent. Right? Yes. They are consistent. Consistent and solution undali kada. Mari dependent lines. That means coincident lines have many solutions. So they are consistent. So we can write dependent pair of linear equations are always consistent because they have many or infinite solutions. Next, page number 83, try this. For what value of P, the following pair of equations has a unique solution. Here, just write the given equations. So, these are the given equations. Now, what is the general form of a linear equation in two variables? It is Ax plus By plus C is equal to 0. So, just convert the given lines into this form. Okay. So, now that means the RHS must be 0. 2x plus Py. If we transpose minus 5, it is plus 5 is equal to 0. Now, 3x plus 3y plus 6 is equal to 0. Now, just compare these lines with Two lines on kada. So a1x, b1y, c1 and a1x plus b1y plus c1 is equal to 0. And here a2x plus b2y plus c2 is equal to 0. Write a1 by a2. What is a1? 2, a2, 3. Similarly, b1 by b2 b1 p b2 3 next c1 by c2 c1 5 c2 6 here in the question they are asking they have unique solution unique solution undali ante p ki enta value eppudu unique solution untundi a1 by a2 not equals to b1 by b2 so these are intersecting lines and unique solution right and unique solution so that implies a1 by a2 2 by 3 b1 by b2 p by 3 and p2 kakunda inka a value aina undach so we can write Except P is equal to 2, for all the values of P, the two lines have unique solution. Okay. Now, second question. Find the value of K for which the pair of equations represent parallel lines. So, now just compare this with A1x plus B1y plus C1 is equal to 0 a2x plus b2y plus c2 is equal to 0. Write a1 by a2. a1 2, a2 4. That is 2 1s, 2 2s. It is 1 by 2. Similarly, b1 by b2. b1 minus k, b2 6. So, c1 by c2. 3 by minus 5. That is minus 3 by 5. So, for parallel lines, a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2, not equals to c1 by c2. Now, take a1 by a2, 1 by 2 is equal to b1 by b2 minus k by 6. So, k place lo maniki enta unte maniki 1 by 2 was thundi. Clearly, minus 3 undali, plus 1 by 2 raval kada. So, we can calculate like this by cross multiplication. 6 into 1, 6, 1. 2 into minus k minus 2k. Okay. Now minus 2k is equal to 6. k is equal to 6 by minus 2. So it is minus 3. So what is minus, what is the k value? Minus 3. So for k is equal to minus 3, these two lines are parallel. So next third problem, 
For what value of k, the pair of equation 3x plus 4y plus 2 equals to 0 and this represent coincident lines. So, coincident means the two lines have infinitely many solutions, right? So, here ratio, these three ratios must be equal, okay? So, first compare with a1x plus b1y plus c1 this with a2x plus b2y plus c2 okay write a1 by a2 a1 3 a2 9 3 1s 3 3s 1 by 3 and b1 4 b2 12 4 1s 4 3s 1 by 3 here c1 by c2 C1 2, C2 K. Okay. So, for coincident lines, A1 by A2 is equal to B1 by B2 is equal to C1 by C2. Okay. Now, so, just equal this 1 by 3 is equal to 2 by k. So, if we cross multiply it, k into 1 k, 3 into 2 is equal to 6. So, k equals to 6. So, for k is equal to 6, these two lines are coincident lines. So, here I wrote the equations px plus 3y minus of p minus 3 equals to 0, 12x plus py minus p equals to 0. Just compare with a1x plus b1y plus c1 is equal to 0 and a2x plus b2y plus c2 equals to 0. So, compare chasi a1 by a2 p by 12, b1 by b2 3 by p, c1 by c2 p minus 3 by p. Nila rasa sam. Now, for infinitely many solutions undali ante a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 is equal to c1 by c2 i power okay now so a1 by a2 equals to b1 by b2 this koni equal chesam p by 12 is equal to 3 by p so after cross multiplication so like this p into p is equal to 3 into 12. So, p square is equal to 36. p is equal to square root of 36. That is 6. So, what is the value of p? 6. C. 6 by 12 means 1 by 2. 3 by 6, 1 by 2. Here 6 minus 3, 3. 3 by 6, 1 by 2. So, for p is equal to 6, the two equations will have infinitely many solutions students i think you understand these problems students please like this video and please share with your friends and please subscribe to my channel thank you for watching